All right, I just left the armory for my last set of annual training orders for retirement. Pretty cool. Um, we had coffee with the guys. Uh, and then we're gonna go bring that alternator down to the place. See you in a little bit. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton Speed Shop. Alright, we're just about there. It's, in the, it's been in the same spot since I was a kid. And it's kind of in a weird spot, <laughs> um, but that's all right. So hopefully we'll get this alternator taken care of and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we get there. It's right down there. It's been here for ever and a day. That's right there. All right, let's go drop this alternator off. All right, kids, so went in, talked to the awesome dudes here. He checked my alternator. For Bonnie, no problems. Putting out nearly 100 amps. He put a load on it, went fine. So, here's the problem. Bonnie's got too many electrical doodads, doodabs, stuff, to, uh, for the alternator to keep up. So, we get to figure that out. But super awesome dudes in there. This is why you go to uh, Terry's Auto Electric here. Um, don't go anywhere else. Honest dudes, I'm telling you. Didn't try to sell me anything. Gave me some good advice on what to try. Um, basically, he said I'm overworking it, so figure that out. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go home. Thanks over there. Oh, all right. See you later. All right, kids, we're, my home. Anyway, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time. I'm gonna pull some plugs and see how Bonnie's doing and you know, that kind of thing. But something cool happened just the other day. By that, I mean today, not the other day, today. A 220 outlet. Welder plug, boom, son right there so now we can start uh using the 220 function on that uh arc captain so that's pretty cool uh what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna kind of get uh my uh get myself grouped up here and then i'm gonna come out and we're gonna start fiddling with bonnie a little bit and uh i'm not gonna show you putting the alternator back on because i mean you saw it the last couple times been a pain in the butt so um but apparently it's it's good to go. Um, and I don't think he'd tell me stories, you know, being that I um, brought it to him and he, he tested it right in front of me. So, all right, see you in a minute. Are you like me and stand in the glare of the thing? No, nope. are you like me? And when you have a new uh, toy, you wanna play with it. So here we go. Um, I hooked up the, our captain to the 220. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. 220. Now you don't have, a, I don't have a gas bottle yet, but I will eventually. And that's the thing. So, I'm gonna just uh, flex score 220 this this guy right here like usual. So let me do the in yep mm-hmm. 
So what I did was I, I turned it down. I got 13 volts, 45 amps. Just I turned it all the way down because I don't know what it's going to do. And then uh, we'll mess with the settings a little bit. And we'll turn it back up and see how it works. All right. Oh, hey, there's creepy. You guys okay with seeing that one? Okay, cool. Well, even if you're not, that's what happened. That's what happening. That's what's happening. You guys remember that show? What's happening? No? I barely do. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Wow, that's nice. Let's do that again. We're gonna right in the edge and I'll show you. Woo! You know, I, yep, mm hmm I got that. Did you move the thing? Well, you know what? Now you're going to stand there and watch the thing. With this. Turn up just a little bit. All right, fourteen volts, forty five amps. We got it on the sink, so should be something. Here we go. Right there on the finger. Now let's turn it up again. Now it's 15 volts, 46. This is where it was when I turned it when I set it. Right there, right there. Now I'm gonna get a piece of uh, sheet metal and uh, I'm pleased with that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna get that piece of sheet metal. I'm gonna cut it a little bit and then we're gonna, we're gonna spot weld it, hold on. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spot weld each one of them for a little bit and then we'll show you. All right, I turned it down and said 12 and a half volts, 45 amps. All right. And is it on spot? Yep, it's on spot.
Here's something to push down on it with. I'll use a hammer and pound them flat. All right, we'll clean them up and see what we did. Okay, so cleaned them up. Now they're not gonna be perfect because I, I couldn't really push them down and I, that was my own fault but right there right there no blow through nothing it's a nice solid weld here nice solid one here it's a good one down here good penetration but nope those are all good uh this one it just kind of fell apart i couldn't get it close um but that one had good penetration on anyway and then where's that last one here we go top one right here had a uh, good penetration i blew through here because i actually I slid right off and then here good penetration no issues so that's cool yeah um work work like champ uh now we just gotta you know practice 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 all right so what i discovered is that uh even with the 220 better Probably not because the camera does its thing anyway. Uh, even with the 220, um, it, it did it did great. Um, it really did. So uh, we're not going to worry about that too much now. We're just going to start. I'm going to get some materials and we're going to start. Or I'm going to start uh, really practicing. Um, I've already got the cowl marked where I need to cut it and uh, patch it. I got to get some sheet metal. I think there might be some outside there. Maybe there's a piece of barracuda left. Um, and then, so I think that that's all around, you know, A plus for today. Um, I was not upset with that at all. I want to thank my friend Jeff at Frontier Electric here in uh, the old hometown. You guys are always great. And uh, didn't even know they were here except for the box on the wall everything was all cleaned up and stuff so that was pretty awesome anyway so uh the old back is hurting pretty good so i think i'm gonna wait on uh take care of bonnie uh just kind of you know and you know with the alternator and and that stuff just uh not feeling the old back today so um i thought hanging out for a little while might help but we're gonna have to wait for another day and that's okay um Nobody's in a rush to do it. I mean, I'd like to get Bonnie out, but I mean, I could drive Clyde, I guess. I mean, I could. So um, stick around. We're gonna. I gotta get uh, get the old back uh, in a better better shape, or not better shape, but anyway, not hurting so bad. And then we'll start uh, looking at Bonnie and seeing what's going on there. So, uh, see you next time. So I took a vote, and I decided, and I voted that I wasn't gonna put the alternator in today. It was unanimous. So I thought I'd just pull a couple spark plugs and see what's going on. I think somebody glued one in.
but not bad at all. See, look at that. Look at it. Sorry, I got off. Yeah, for those of you people out there, all seven of you, that are happy that Bonnie had a problem, shame. Shame on you. Still have everybody's day. Yeah. It's fine. My back hurts. My knee hurts. Shoulder hurts. And I blinded you with my head. That's fun. You know, I just... Okay, it's on there. This is the one that's glued on right here. Right here. I don't know. It's tightening. We don't want to tighten it anymore. Very good tight. There we go. I use the strong hand. You know, have a Ford, they said. It'd be fun. Put a Ford motor in the Ford. You know, that's... I think we have a valve cover leak. What do you, what do you think? There's a little bit of oil on that one. It smells like it's supposed to. Here, just just keep Bonnie company in that. Ow. Almost fell down. Any fun having while it's gone? No. Usually doesn't. You know, so we're gonna need to get some new plugs for Miss Bonnie. Actually, it's not that bad either. A little rich, but not horribly. It's a, it's a hot rod term for bad. Yeah, we got a valve cover leak. <laughs> hmm? How can that happen? I don't know, she's fantastic. Means we gotta take the valve cover off. That also means I have to buy a new valve cover gasket for a Ford. <laughs> That'll be three hundred and fourteen dollars. Why? I don't know. You tell me. It's a Ford. Well, make sure it's not in there for. Okay. Yep. Yeah, not cross threaded. We don't need nature's Loctite. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of... Yep. One more. Maybe. No, I just want you... Ah! Tightening. Mm. Even using the strong hand is not working. Uh, yeah, come on. Hold on a minute. I had to use the strong hand again. Actually, I had to put a smaller um, extension on here. It was just, this one doesn't really feel like wanting to come out. There we go, maybe, no. Now we do have one that's way back there, right here. How are we gonna get that one? Uh-huh, we'll find out. Stick around for that mess. Okay. For some reason this one is sticky. Oh, you guys wanna see? Yep, right there. There's some other things I noticed on here that will have to be addressed. 
Not this spark plug, though. It smells like it's supposed to. It's nice. It's a nice, nice one. So, now, we're just going to knit these threads just a little bit. They're just grubby. I'm guessing Bonnie hasn't had a tune-up in a while. I didn't do it. She's been driving her, man. She's no Clyde. I need to get my hand in here. That's what I need to do. These headers are not user-friendly for people with the big paws. So, let me put that one back in and bring it back around. Get around the passenger side, I'm just going to grab this one right here, because it's right there. Ooh, need my longer one now. That one could have been tighter. Not too bad. Not too bad. You ever scratch your frame before? Yeah, well, good thing it's already got a scratcher of seven in it, so. Put this guy back down here where it belongs. Yeah, why not? And then we'll do one more. Yeah, these are, these are needing to be replaced. They're really not bad. I mean, it's just that it's, it's just probably time, you know. I mean, I've been running around on them for a couple of years and you know, Bonnie's had her troubles with running nice a couple times, and I'll bring you back around in a second. Okay, so we're back here on number what is it, thirty-two, whatever. Ford makes their numbers weird. This is number eight, though, I think, still. Or this is four. One of them. Eh, a little rich. Just a little. See that? She's a little rich. That's okay, though. I mean, look. We had some we had some troubles with her for a little bit there, you know. But, I mean, I can tell you right now that there's... I mean, there's no, no stuff between it. Just... You know, all right, so I'm gonna put this back in, then we're gonna chit chat just a little bit. Well, while we're right here, let's just check some oil right here. She hasn't moved in a while. Oh, let's see. We're just off a of full. Just off a of full. No. This oil filter, or this oil stick, has had its share, share beaten up. Yeah, we're just off a of full. No. We might be leaking a little bit down here, but I do know that we're a little bit, um, we're a little down from uh, where we should be. Now, we found a valve cover leak over there. That's part, probably some of it. We got one up here. That's probably some of it. So Bonnie needs some general maintenance. Plus we're you know, pushing some out right here. But well, we already knew we were out. We were already doing that. So I mean, what it is? An old hot, old hot rod, right? The motor was built 30 years ago almost. So 
Sounds like we're in for a rainstorm out there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's wrap this thing up. You ever feel really short? It's weird. Hey. All right. So, what do we do? This video started a little while ago. What do we do? Yep, we did that. Mm-hmm. We did that. Alternator, yep, we did that. Okay, well, you brought us up to date. You're up to speed. Good. I did. Ch I only checked a few plugs. Bonnie needs to have them replaced. You know, they're just older. Um, plus, I'm going to have to. I'm going to do undo the wire looms. I'm going to look over the um, wires real good before we store for the year. It's coming. Grease job. Next year, we've got a lot of maintenance to do on Bonnie. I'm talking like front wheel bearings and we're gonna be checking rear brakes. We're, we're going nose to tail on the old girl here. Everything, we're gonna grease everything. We're going to change the oil again. I mean, I know we didn't, we just, we haven't, but she's been running rich and any fuel is getting down there. I don't, I don't wanna deal with that. So, yeah, I'm gonna, there's gonna be a list for Bonnie when she comes back in the spring. Um, after we send her for storage, but it's not today. So I gotta get that alternator back in and then I'll add just a little bit of oil. I mean, it's not bad, but it's it's enough where I don't like it. I mean, it's just not full, so I mean, I really could just roll it, but anyway. So, that's what we got. We got some, uh, we got a difficult spark plug in the back and we got an alternator to take care of. So, hope you enjoyed everything we did up till now and uh thanks for watching hit the thing and the boo and the ding and the you know all that good stuff and uh make sure you check out cool channels down below and and all that good stuff so anyway anything else for the good of the group no okay have a great one. Keep on ranching, kids.